Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for this week's vlog. I actually wasn't even supposed to start the vlog today. I was supposed to start the vlog tomorrow, but I switched things around because I miss you guys and I wanna hang out with you. So today I'm taking you through Tuesday, Wednesday and my life. And I have really, really been working on working less aka being more productive with my time getting more done in less hours and then having a healthier work-life balance i kind of came to some realizations that i was making my full identity and my full worth about my work which is not healthy and a big source of my stress so today i'm going to be kind of walking y'all through some changes that i've made in order to be more productive and have more fun and life and live my gosh dang life so i hope you're ready <laughs> thank you for being here so it is already 11 30 and one thing i've noticed is my brain works the quickest and the most efficiently in the morning and so one thing i do in the morning is i start off by just getting my emails done and another tip that i've learned is i try to only respond to my emails once a day i keep my eye out if anything's urgent but the less frequently i respond to emails the less frequently they come in and oftentimes things aren't that urgent to where i have to go back and forth 10 times a day. So I've already done that this morning and I had a chiropractic appointment. My to-do list today is I have some work things to do and some personal things to do. This is another way I've kind of like balanced my work-life balance is I read a productivity book. I need to find it. It says, pick three tasks that you want to get accomplished in that day. I'll explain more about that concept later, but I already got my admin tasks done, so I'm gonna check that off. And one thing I wanna do is I wanna go on a walk. I don't have Pilates tonight, so let's go on a nice stroll and get out of the house and look at some beautiful scenery. What do you say? A couple of realizations I came to. I used to try to work out in the morning because I was like, that's when successful people work out. That's like when the majority of people do it, so that's when I should do it. But that is my prime focus time, and I have learned that the days I take away from those few hours in the morning are the days I feel really stressed and frazzled and behind. So I stopped working out in the morning. Typically, I will go to Pilates in the evening now, but tonight we have dinner plans with friends, so I don't have a Pilates class tonight, and I'm feeling really ahead of work, which is an awesome feeling. Feeling. So I'm gonna go outside, get some fresh air, getting out into fresh air and, and into nature a little bit has also been absolutely huge for, I don't know, just feeling, feeling full and feeling content in my heart. You know what I mean? So I'm excited to take y'all and show you how stinking pretty it is in the lower Arroyo area. This is the second time I've done this in less than a week. Who am I? <laughs> I made a slight mistake. This park, I've been to it so many times. It's under a bridge. Can you see the huge bridge right there? And I wanted to park in this parking lot. So I just like dropped a pin on this parking lot. So it would route me right here, but it routed me to up on the bridge. And I was like accidentally miles away by the time I could turn around. It's all right, let's go, let's go on a stroll. About the things we used to do No, you couldn't stand tall So why didn't you, why didn't you call So many years has gone by Okay, I'm home. I had the mobile groomer come by and pick up Max. So they're actually outside right now. He's getting groomed. I got groomed. I got very sweaty on that walk. I actually, it was, it was a good workout. I'm really impressed by that. But now back to work. I figured it could be helpful if I let you guys know a couple of the tools and tactics that I've been using to kind of be more productive and then in turn work less. And one of them I've talked to you guys about before, but they are actually sponsoring this video and it is identity. I absolutely love the concept of identity. Their mission is basically to simplify the internet. So my to-do list that you've been seeing so far on this video is from them. And I have a command center with them. And basically what I do is I put websites that I most frequently use as tiles on their website and I can categorize them. So for example, if I am looking for all of my YouTube related content, I can type in YouTube but everything I use from thumbnails to transferring files to my agency to YouTube studio itself pops up and it kind of 
keeps me from getting distracted on the internet and it keeps me on task, which has been really helpful for staying productive. In addition to that, I can store notes about things like promo codes for brands I work with, passwords even, which has been so handy. And one thing that's really confusing about my job is keeping track of different like affiliate link platforms. So for example, I could type in affiliate and here's all of my affiliate platforms easily accessible for me to do work even quicker and more productively. When I shared about them in the past, a lot of y'all were so excited and it's amazing because they actually have a free version and they have a premium version and the premium version is only $3 a month. What I did is I started with the free version until I filled up all my tiles because I was actually using it and then upgraded to premium. So definitely recommend checking them out. Thank you again to Identity for sponsoring this video, for keeping me on task and productive <laughs> and for honestly helping me have a better work-life balance. I wanted to show y'all a few <laughs> resources, books that also have helped. But another tool I use all the time is Asana. And this is more of like a calendar app that I absolutely love. And I have my team on the calendar as well so they can see what I'm doing, which helps a lot with communication and making sure I'm staying on track. And I feel a lot less stressed out when I know, okay, my next week is already done and I'm good to go. So that's another tool that's helped me. And then some books that have helped me kind of let go. Okay. I'm gonna be honest, I love to work too much. I'm an Enneagram three and I will make that my everything. I will just wanna succeed and thrive to the point of it being very unhealthy. And from like a Christian point of view, one of these books, I think it's The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry basically says, if the devil can't make you sin, he'll make you busy. He'll make you just wanna work, 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 hustle, 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 cause it takes away any quality time with your loved ones, any quality time with God, any way that God can move in your life and you're just kind of focusing on you and your work all the time. So that's been a big reason and motivator for me to kind of get my act together and not work 12 hours a day. In fact, lately I've been working like five to six hours a day, which is amazing. I do work weekends, so I'm still working on working less, but a few books I love. Everybody and their mother has talked about this one. This is The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry. My friend Chloe Wen introduced me to this book and this kind of started this whole journey maybe six months ago. And then these are all red, I don't know why. <laughs> I maybe even liked this one even more. It's To Hell With The Hustle. It's very just like blatant. It will, it will call you out, you know, like tough love kind of book. So I really like that. And then I'm only halfway through this one, but The Unexpected Joy of the Ordinary is kind of more focused on being content with where you are and the beauties of life and not always just being so concerned with the future and work and wanting more and wanting to be bigger and better and faster and stronger all the time, you know? So those have been really helpful for me and for reframing my mindset, which was kind of like the whole, I don't know, the whole motivator to kind of theme this vlog. But speaking of work-life balance, I do have a little bit more work to do, but tomorrow I have some more errands that I need to get done. And I thought it could be fun if we go and do those together, get out of the house a little. Oh, also my laundry needs to be switched over. <laughs> It's another thing on my to-do list for today under personal. Mix, show, show everybody how handsome show you them. are. Show them. Show them how handsome. Nikki, You're are so good. handsome. Although I do kind of like the way you look when you're fluffy. He <laughs> looks like his eyes are really close together because his head looks so big, but he gets at anything and everything caught in his fur. This is, <laughs> are you gonna freak out? Are you gonna freak out and rub up against bit. everything? You bit. You're so cute. He smells great. What? Where are you going? He said, sick tricks, dude. Sick tricks, dude. Wow. Now we're both clean. Two out of three. <laughs> <laughs> we got a third one that needs to be clean. Oh, don't show that to the internet. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I have such an exciting yard update. We got a lawnmower. We got a really, really, really cheap, crappy one. It's not very good, but we actually mow the lawn and it looks like we have like real grass does it not this side looks really good the other side has a lot of weeds <laughs> but i was going to talk you through what our plans are so i ordered more of the same seed we have some like bald spots um we're leaving the weeds for now because they're green and if it's green we'll take it so we're going to do another layer of seed to fill in the bald spots and then here's my plans we have some things that were like oh that'll be super cheap so of course we'll do it and we'll have some things that were like 
Maybe it's worth it as a renter. Maybe it's too much work. I'll show you. Okay, the thing I think is for sure worth it is getting bricks and laying out like a straight line of bricks where the grass ends. Because though it would look best if we did grass on the whole yard, I think we've decided it's just too much work, too much money, too much upkeep. It's hard to water back there because our one water source already goes all the way here. So it would just be really, really hard. So I think if we create a clear division with like bricks, like lay them out, basically a little path, that would look less bad. Also, would it not be so much fun to hang a, a hammock between these two palm trees? Wouldn't that be so much fun? And then the thing that I think we will also for sure do is around my beautiful infamous pomelo, do the same bricks in like a circle around and then fill it with the same red mulch that we have around the house to kind of tie that in and make this look more ten intentional. And then the thing that is probably too much <clears throat> work as renters but would be great for upkeep would be behind the brick line that we do for the grass, lay down tarps and do like gravel, granite, decompose granite or something, zero scape and do like beds around the plants that we keep, just like around the pomelo tree. And then just do zero scaping with with gravel around it. I think that that would be the cheapest option, but still probably pretty expensive for how huge this yard is as renters. But I don't know, that's just an idea we're kind of toying with. But I do think the idea of separating the grass with a path and then doing a little bed around the trees and maybe buying a hammock. <laughs> I think those seem perfectly reasonable as renters. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's the next day. Last night we stayed out really late. We got home at like midnight, but we just went over to our friend's house. We picked up food from John and Vinny's, which is like an Italian place. I love their broccolini. I basically have it as an entree. And this morning it's 10. Brooke just left to get his second COVID vaccine. So I'm very prepared for the next couple days being rough but I already responded to all my emails, did all my admin work, ready for a day of errands with you guys. And I made a little yogurt bowl with gluten-free granola, yogurt, almond butter, honey, and banana. Now, I don't know if this is new, but I had never seen it before. I just got, this is my second time having it. Oatly came out with yogurt and the strawberry one is really good. The consistency is a little runny, but the, the flavor is really good and it works really well in a bowl. So I'm gonna wrap up a bit more work, get ready. And then what do you say we go out on the town? Does that sound fun? Cause I would love that. I really feel like I've been wearing the same thing every day lately, but it's been very weirdly chilly. It's like June gloom, which happens every year in LA, but in May. So yet again, wearing my favorite tanks from Abercrombie. Y'all know I have these in five colors now cause they're the most flattering. And hide bra straps, which is so rare for tanks. And then my line leggings and my Everlane Teddy jacket. But do you remember the black sandals I bought? I went ahead and also got them in brown without the heel because this is what I truly wanted. And I found them at Macy's. I had to hunt. If they're still in stock, I'll link them down below too. But figured it's a good little errand outfit for the day. Okay, here is the order of events for today. I, you guys might know, broke my really nice pair of sunglasses and got them repaired and I broke them again immediately the first time I put them on. So I dropped them back off to get repaired and they told me they can't fix them this time and I have to go pick them up and drop them off at a lens crafters. So that's first. And then um, I need to take the car for its very first car wash and maybe get a coffee. And then I have a pretty big target run to do. So that's the agenda for today. Guys, Pasadena, getting an Alfred coffee. Oh my gosh. I also took off the mic, so sorry for the audio change because I parked right next to Anthropology and I was like, maybe we can just go see what's in there. So I'll bring my camera in. Oh my gosh, when did this happen? This is an Aesop. There's an Aesop in Pasadena. I don't know when this happened. days they're obviously being productive and like you need to run errands eventually but I try to kind of save them for one day and make like a really fun day out of it which is another way I kind of I guess work-life balance a little bit where I'm like I'm being productive but it just feels like fun and I am so glad I went into anthropology well first I got my broken sunglasses we're gonna go to lens crafters but if you missed it so 
my vlogs are gonna come out a little bit out of order. So a vlog, I think, has already come out of my sister in town. I'm actually filming this on her birthday. She's turning 21. She just got engaged this week. Her fiance just turned 21 this week. Her fiance graduated this week. She technically finished her undergrad this week, but she has one more year till she gets her master's, but she also already got a job offer for when she graduates. Like so much is happening in her life. So I'm flying her out here. We're having a weekend together. And my main present to her is I'm basically just gonna give her like a Visa gift card and take her out shopping. But to make it more fun, I got her that little ring dish that I showed you in the montage. Um, since she just got engaged, I figured it would be really cute to get her a little jewelry dish. And then they wrap this up really well. So maybe I can just shimmy it out. Here you can kind of see the pattern of this. Anthropology has the cutest puzzles. And Jacqueline is very into puzzling, like too much. <laughs> but I got her a really, really cute puzzle from Anthropology. So now she can have a little physical gift to open when she's here as well. So like I said, I think that vlog is already out. So go watch it if you have it. It's weird. I never film out of order and it messes with my brain when I do. <laughs> okay, onward. I was not expecting them to fix them same day because uh, Sunglasses Hut usually like takes a week or two, but they were like, oh yeah, let me just fix those right now. The issue is I need to go back um, and get them tightened. I didn't realize till I left because um, the reason I keep breaking them is they told me to like tighten the nose piece whenever they, it gets loose and that's how I snap them in half. So they are like very loose on my face, but I'm just so excited to have my sunglasses back. I forgot. I actually have a voiceover audition due at 3 p.m. I'm just so out, like not used to having auditions that it totally slipped my mind. I, if you haven't heard the update, I'm only going out for union auditions, which are so few and far between, but those are basically the ones that if you do book it, they pay really well but nobody ever books them ever. <laughs> so I, I'm gonna pick up some coffee and go home and get that audition out of the way before heading back out to the car wash and Target. But in a vlog recently, I tried to go to, I think it's called Jameson Brown Coffee Roasters and they close at two, which is normally when I have my coffee. So I'm going at like 12.30 and we're gonna go see what it's like. We're finally gonna go. I do need to get these tightened. I should have asked. I, I always feel embarrassed to ask for more things. <laughs> can you fix these? Oh, actually, can you also tighten them? Oh, actually, can you pay my rent? I don't know, that's how it feels to me. <laughs> Yesterday I lost a battle Trying that I'll cross so To keep you, babe Oh, to keep you, babe that place was so cute. I asked Brick if he wanted a coffee. He said no, just the pastry. So I got a couple. I got a chocolate chip muffin and a chocolate chip scone. And then the reason I've been wanting to try that place is they have an orange blossom latte. And I recently discovered citrus and coffee and it's so surprisingly good. They said no substitutions. You could do regular milk or oat but they did say lightly sweetened. Typically I would ask like, can I get that lightly sweetened? But it says it's not that sweet. So let's see. Oh, it's not sweet at all. Oh, it's good. It's very subtle. Mmm, it's really good. Okay, audition, and then we're gonna go strike back out. Check one, two, check, check. Check one, two, check, check. Mikel Jancy. Mikel Jancy. At the car wash, just vacuumed and cleaned the inside of my car. I'm determined to keep it smelling like a new car for as long as possible because that is like the most joyful part of a new car is the way it smells. <laughs> I'm at Target mostly for essentials, but I saw this the other day and I really wanted to come back for it. I think it's, it's $16.99. And at the moment we don't have anything at our front door, only our back door. And, but the it rained this week and we were tracking in mud and I was like, okay, okay, I'll go get that. Okay, I know this is not at all a cool thing, but these wipes at Target are the $1.99 and they smell so good. And I had them in my last car. Very handy if you notice your dash is dusty or if you spill something. So I'm getting a new pack for the new car. Target haul, Brick is napping on the couch right there because his, his vaccine's hitting him. This is by far the most fun Target haul I've ever done. I got name, or uh, what's it called when it's not name brand? Generic disinfecting wipes. Mm -hmm. I was influenced by Gretchen um, Garretry. I still don't know how to say her last name. She swore by this for cleaning with glass stuff and I never in my life would have ever bought this because it looks like pure chemicals and I'm sure it is like not good for you stuff. Have you ever used this? Use it at church. Use it at church? Oh, well it's like $2 for a huge can, so. Sunscreen, because my sister and I are going to the beach when she's here. Caramel, almond, milk, creamer. Automotive wipes I showed you. I need to go put those back in my car. Tylenol, here, catch. Sorry. <laughs> uh, they didn't have my usual hairspray, um, which is also Garnier Fructix, so I got full control, because my hair 
has been really frizzy at the top lately. I think I'm growing baby hairs. I don't know what that means. Finally, haven't had an eyelash curler, I think since high school. So I finally bought one. Spent a full $7 on it that I've been procrastinating for a full seven years. <laughs> and then, oh, these are really big. Um, so I normally use a little razor for my eyebrows instead of plucking them. I find it lasts basically just as long. So they didn't have the ones I normally get and I got one just for men. I was like, it's a razor, but they're just huge. Um, I guess men use it to shape their beards. Have you ever seen these? No. No. Well, I'm sure it'll work just to get these couple little eyebrow hairs down here. But that was my Target haul. And my plans for the rest of the day are take out masks, clean up the house, edit this vlog, and then Pilates tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the vlog here. But thank you again to Identity for sponsoring this video, for helping me be able to take off of work for a few hours today and um, run errands and have a healthier work-life balance by being more organized and more productive. I love it. I will have them linked down below. Like I said, there's the free version and then the premium version still only $3 a month. So it's awesome. I love it. I love y'all with my whole heart. Thank you for hanging out with me today and yesterday. I will see you in a video very soon and I hope you have the best rest of your day. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign, baby, give me a sign Just give me one more, talking to you Here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in